Excel 2007 handles cut, copy, and paste the same as other software applications. You would use cut and paste together to move information from one location to another, as well as copy and paste together to make a copy of information and move it to another location. The keyboard shortcuts of Control X for cut and Control C for copy and Control V for paste work in this new release of Excel. You will also find the cut, copy, and paste commands up in your ribbon under the Home tab in the clipboard group. Here you have cut, copy, as well as paste. You can also perform a cut, copy, and paste through the shortcut menu that you access by right-clicking. The technique that you would need to perform here is to first select your information, then right-click within that highlighted information and choose cut or copy. If you cut, you will see a marquee with dashed lines that go around the highlighted data. Then you can come down here, set your cursor, and perform a paste, which will move the information from one location to another. If you wanted to perform this through the mouse, you can do the same command through your mouse. And to do that, position your mouse on the edge of the highlighted data. Make sure that you see this four arrow tool, which means you are in the process of a move or a cut and paste. And then by clicking and dragging with the four arrow tool, you can drag that information up to a new location. In other words, it could be a cut and a paste. You can also copy this information by using the mouse as well. If you hold down the control key and again position your mouse on the border of the highlighted data, notice that now I have an arrow with a plus sign by it. That means I am able to copy the information. With the control key down, click and drag and move the information to a new location and you will make a copy of that data. Let's look at the copy and paste command through the ribbon. Again, with your information highlighted, come up here to your ribbon and your home tab. In the clipboard group, you will find the copy command. Select that and again, you will see the marquee around the selected data, indicating that it is ready to be copied. Then go ahead and position your cursor in the cell where you want to paste the information, actually the cell where the pasted information will begin, and then again come up to your clipboard and click the paste button. This will paste that information into the location starting with where your cursor was. Notice that the marquee still exists around the highlighted data. This allows you to paste again immediately after your first paste. So I'll go ahead and paste again and here's the information one more time. You can paste as many times as you like as long as you still see the marquee around the highlighted data that you selected. If you want to get rid of the marquee, simply click in a new cell and when you start typing, the marquee will disappear. Also note that you can use the escape key from your keyboard to cause the marquee to disappear. Now another nice feature of Microsoft Excel 2007 is the clipboard. Notice if I come up here to the ribbon and the home tab, in the clipboard group, I have the little button. If I click the button in the lower right hand corner, this will cause my clipboard to appear. Now if I do a copy, notice that that information is now visible in my clipboard and I can paste that as many times as I want throughout my worksheet no matter what steps I've already performed. I would simply select it and there it is. Position your cursor where you want, select it, and there it is. You will find the clipboard rather useful as we work in Excel throughout this tutorial and throughout your spreadsheeting. Let's apply the cut, copy, and paste commands in our project. Please open your project list that you created in Chapter 4, or you can open the 0501 start file that you'll find in the Chapter 5 folder of the Excel 2007 class folder. Let me go ahead and open that up. So I'll do a file open. I'm in my Excel 2007 Chapter 5 directory. Let me open that up. Now this is the product list that we created throughout Chapter 4. Let's go ahead and what we're going to do in Chapter 5 is develop a menu of our product list so that the Raspberry Brigade Salesforce has a menu for displaying the pricing and the listing of all the products that are available. 
To do that, we are going to create another worksheet within this workbook. So let's go ahead and do that by double-clicking the tab and then typing in Menu. And then go back to the product list and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the entire product list and paste it over here into our menu worksheet. So click at A1 and drag all the way down to A31. Notice that some of this data does extend out into columns B and C. Even though it's extending out, it is still only located in column A in those cells within column A that we've highlighted. We have everything highlighted at this time, so let's go ahead and copy it. And then click on your menu sheet, set your cursor in cell A1 and paste it. And we have made a copy of our product list from our product list worksheet and started a new worksheet called Menu and pasted that product list within that worksheet. We are now ready to move on and start developing our menu in more detail. If you would like, spend some time and practice using some of the copy and paste techniques that I've shown. And when you're ready, move on to the next movie.